autonomous, how do you be productive? And it took quite a while and it was little pieces and we kind of introduced it as Here's, I'm gonna do Edmodo. And so Shauna was talking about at the beginning, we had one thing that we wanted them to try that was part of, in addition to, we're changing the schedule. Cause I did, I just, okay, guess what? Today we're gonna be doing something completely different. Our schedule is no longer our schedule. This is what we're gonna do. And we really talked about it. And so it has been a growing experience for me, but for more so probably than for them in the sense that I need their feedback to know what I need to do to change but it's given them a lot more ownership in the classroom and responsibility for what we're doing. And um, kind of stepping back, that's hard for me. So I'm like, no, I know this is a really good lesson. And I had a reflection time. I thought, my students, it's not always effective for me to sit with all of them and do this many lessons. Somebody needs it here. Somebody needs just two minutes with me here when I had spent all this time and I know how great it is and I'm trying to tell all of you, but why are you tying, why are you playing with your shoe? And why are you looking out the window? And why are you talking to the person next to you? This is such a great lesson. And I'm like, but it's not about me, it's about them. They obviously needed it in a different direction. And so that's kind of where, of course, I think I've had to change a lot to help them change. And so they're getting more independent and we do have that priority calendar. And these are kind of the things that I have to have done for Mrs. Buckner or it's kind of to help them know, like, I should have this much of my writing done today. Because there's some of them are still seven, some are eight. They, they still need a little bit more guidance, and I need to know what I might need to have done. Because I might just work on it for 10 minutes and say I'm done, and I wrote two sentences. Well, you might need to have a little bit more than that. I mean, it really was that way for us, too, um, because you know, we were used to being the one in control of our classrooms. And it was uncomfortable a bit, and it still is sometimes, as we learn that, um, you know, we're not always in front of the kids or with a group, that sometimes we're just monitoring learning, we're talking about learning, um, it's not about us, it's the kids. Um, and, you know, we intentionally, or we always have the best intentions, you know, when we're in front of them or we're working with them, trying to teach them a skill set or explicitly, you know, we know you need to know this. Um, you know, we have good intentions, but, you know, they have taught us that we need to let them do their thing and we need to step back a little bit and just guide them, be more a guide on the side, a coach on the side um, than the leader of the classroom.